Hello, everybody. I'm Yuji. And I'm Muffin. And we would like to introduce you to a new segment we're probably going to be doing called Fanfic Fridays. This is where we either find a fanfiction on the internet that we thought was funny and wanted to share with you guys, or we're going to be doing a critique, a review. It's going to be one of the two. Read to you by Muffin. Yes. So this is a fanfic by Proud, Proud Housewife on fanfiction.net called Hogwarts School of Prayers and Prayer and Miracles. Now, I want to really quickly before we start this, I want to say like I we don't we're not trying to offend anyone of the Christian religion like in our audience. It's just this is a little bit ridiculous. Yep. Okay. Author's note. Hello friends. My name is Grace Ann. I'm new to this whole fan fiction thing obviously. <laughs> but recently I've encountered a problem that I believe is this is the solution to. My little ones have been asking to read the Harry Potter books and of course I'm happy for them to be reading but I don't want them turning into witches. <laughs> so I thought why not make some slight changes to these books are family friend so these books are family friendly. And then I thought why not share this with all the, all the other mommies who are facing the same problem? So, ta-da, here it is. I am so excited to share this with all of you. So, without further ado. These aren't little changes, by the way, guys. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> Once upon a time, there was a little boy named Harry Potter who lived under the stairs in a house on Privet Drive with his aunt and uncle. He was a good, obedient boy who did all his chores, but he felt that there was something missing in his life. Something big and special, but he could not quite name it. He stayed up every night and wished for the special something, but then one day, there was a knock on his door, and everything changed. Answer the door, Harry, his Aunt Petunia, a career woman, barked from her armchair where she sat with her feet up. She had short, curly blonde hair and never wore any makeup. Uncle Vernon nodded sheepishly from the kitchen and put a tray of moist, oh, moist, <laughs> chocolatey brownies in the oven. Shouldn't you be doing that, Harry thought, but he was a very obedient young boy, so he answered the door right away. He turned the brass metal doorknob, brass metal doorknob, that you don't need to, never mind, and, and pulled open the heavy wooden door. On the porch was standing a huge muscular man with a big manly beard and he was dressed in a plaid red shirt, blue jeans, and, a sturdy, and sturdy leather boots. His chest was covered in a thick, unruly carpet of coarse brown hair. He wore a necklace that looked to hair like a lowercase t. Just looking at Harry felt just looking at Harry felt happy, peaceful somehow, but he couldn't say why. Good morning, kiddo, the man greeted him amiably and smiled at Harry. He had the peaceful, friendly sort of face you just knew you could trust. My name is Hagrid. Could I speak to your mommy and daddy? I don't have a mom or daddy. Oh jeez <laughs> Harry replied sadly and looked at his raggedy old shoes that were blue. Perhaps that was why he felt so lonely, he thought, not for the first time. Maybe that was what he was missing. A mommy and daddy. But no, that was not quite right. I am so sorry to hear that, Hagrid uttered empathetically. You can speak with my auntie and uncle, Harry reported politely, and blinked his big blue childlike eyes. <clears throat> what do you want? Aunt Petunia peered out the door with her narrow, suspicious eyes, and she was wearing a baggy, unflattering pantsuit. Hello, neighbor. I was wondering if you have been saved, Hagrid, Hagrid exclaimed brightly and tipped his wide-brimmed straw cowboy hat. Aunt Petunia laughed a gravely laughed and leaned forward in her sturdy, practical boots. Saved? Don't tell me you're one of those quish uh, one of those Christians. Harry did not know what that word meant, but Hagrid's smile was the most peaceful smile he had ever seen. It made Harry feel warm and happy inside, just seeing the glowing, radiant grin on the kind, friendly stranger's face. He wondered why Aunt Petunia and Uncle Vernon did not smile like that. Yes, I am, he replied kindly. Are you? <laughs> Aunt Petunia laughed again and stuck her pointy sharp nose in there. We are too smart for that. Haven't you read Dawkins? God is dead. Dawkins proved that. Would you like us to educate you on the Dawkins? Wait, on the Dawkins? On the Dawkins. <laughs> what is a Christian? Harry queried innocently and scuffed his shoe on the shaggy yellow carpet, which had not been vacuumed in quite some time. You. Ugh. Christians are people who want to be good, Hagrid explained wisely, and crouched down so he was on eye level with Harry. We want to go to heaven after we die. Do you know what heaven is, Harry? I feel like that's a terrible explanation. Like, I, I do sorry. as well. That's, it's so ask you, like, who are Christians. That's a terrible explanation to give them. Anyway, Harry shook his head, and his big eyes were wide and curious. Heaven is a beautiful place where we can be with God. Umpetune just smacked her hands over Harry's young ears and her voice was sickly sweet when she said, 
Thank you very much for your concern, sir, but he does not need your religion. He has science and socialism and birthdays. Haven't you heard of evolution? I have a very good textbook on evolution that I could give you on it if you would like to learn things. Hagrid laughed wisely. Evolution is a fairy tale. You don't really believe that, do you? Yes, I do, Aunt Petunia screeched. Well, then prove it. Aunt Petunia could only stare at him, and her big mouth hung open dumbly. Here she thought she was so educated and always demanded that Christians prove what they believe in, but she couldn't even prove her own religion. Okay, stop right there! <laughs> you okay, Eugene? <laughs> Atheism! Is it a religion? Believe it or not, people. It's not a religion. It was then that Harry knew who the smart one here was. Oh my God. Tell me about how you get to this heaven place, Harry cried wistfully, clapping his hands together. Sometimes... The wisdom of little ones is really amazing. We think we grown-ups know it all, but then God speaks to the mouths of little ones and shows us how we are all mortals struggling along on the path of life. Humility. All you have to do is be saved. Do you want to be saved? I do, I do, Harry squealed, jumping up and down. Oh, God. Then pray the sinner's prayer. Oh, my God. <laughs> Sorry, this is so... This is so ridiculous. Aunt Petunia tried to stop him, but she was powerless against Harry's pure, innocent, holy energy. Soon, Harry had said the prayer. Hagrid beamed happily. Wait, I want to say this part. You're a Christian now, Harry! Hagrid cried proudly. Harry smiled, and then, but then interrogated. But how do I be a Christian? I don't know how. Harry grin Hagrid grinned widely. Do you want to say Hagrid's lines from now on? There is only one place to learn that. Hogwarts School of Prayer and Miracles. That was chapter one of Hogwarts School of Prayer and Miracles. I think we're going to stop this right here. Oh. We'll be reading each chapter until we finish. This hasn't been this hasn't been updated in a very long time. So I think we're going to stop where this stops. Anyways, yeah, that was Hogwarts School of Prayer and Miracles. Again, no offense to any Christian audience out there. We just found this a bit ridiculous and kind of funny. Um, anyways, uh, I'm Yuji. And I'm Muffin. And we are Constructive Criticism. See you in the next video.